talk about me real quick. So, I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. I think there's better suited folks for the media to, you know, be the spokesperson than myself. I'm not planning to talk to the media, period. Not the national. Local. I might have some words for the local. National, I feel like we got people that can talk to the national. Local, though, is going to be where it's at. If you're, you know, in a situation, which there's going to be a lot of situations, let's just put it that way. If you're in a situation, the first thing you want to do before they come and stick the camera in your face and the microphone, take a deep breath, stop, and think. Do not let emotion take you over. Because they'll be trying to get sound bites so they can spice it and make it sound a certain way that it isn't. And maybe you'll have the best of intentions. But if you're not the best spokesperson for what's going on, don't volunteer yourself to talk with the media. Our opposition is chomping at the bits, looking forward to people saying some stuff that they can take out of context, twist, contort, and you know, you know how they are. They already are fast and loose with the truth. Donald Trump, I believe, told 20,000 lies during his tenure as president. More than 20,000, pardon me. They're already fast and loose with the truth. Conspiracy theories is what they've used to, you know, spread outlandish, you know, lies about people who they disagree with. So we already know that's coming with a theory. Don't give them any ammunition free, okay? And sometimes talking to the media and not knowing what to say can get you in a lot of trouble. It's one thing if we're talking to our friends on social media, that's fine. But it's another thing if it's a local or national press and they try to come in and, you know, we're looking at what's going on and there was this chaotic scene here today and this, this, that, and you're all juiced up and you say some stuff that, you know, they can twist around and you come to regret. We should have folks who are going to be on the ground, tailor-made, trained, and know how to talk to the press. The reason I'm not going to talk to the press is because if somebody just did something untowards me and I have to respond, I might say some things that, you know, that the opposition will clip and put in a campaign ad and say, this person doesn't like X or this person doesn't like Y. You know. Also, our opposition is going to look to play the victim. Yeah. The victimizer is going to look to play the victim in 2024. Be on the lookout for that. They've been, our opposition has been victimizing since they got over here, but they're going to play the victim in 2024. When we have to defend ourselves, then they're going to say, oh, you're victimizing. No, 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 no. You came into our territory, our space. Yeah. If we say our separate distance apart, then we'll be fine. But you know how those folks are. They see something they don't like and they think that they can harass and bully and terrorize. Just like Rittenhouse. We've already got examples of what they did in 2020. Yeah, just like Alex Fields Jr. in 2017 at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. 
Then we have numerous examples of them doing that. So be very cautious of what you say to the media. If I talk to a local press, I'm going to go after local people. This is another tactical strategy that we should think about employing. Say, for instance, I'm in Pickens County in Alabama. If I get interviewed by the local press, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, you know this is a sundown town. You know what that means, right? Maybe the reporter is young. This is her first, you know, serious story in Pickens, Alabama. I'm going to tell her a sundown town is what was formed by white supremacists mostly white men who didn't want black people in their town. So if the sun came down and they saw you were black, they lynched you. This is what Pickens County is. And that's who the people are that are harassing us. See, I'm going to talk real, frank, honest, and have crucial conversations. I'm going to say it the way it is. But only to the locals. I'm not talking to the national. Morning Joe, I'm too crude for them. I'm too crude for Michael Steele and Simone Sanders. I can't Got it, because I'm not going to say what they want me to say. I'm going to lay bare the naked, honest, dark, insidious truth about this republic and what we're dealing with out here on Liberty Street, what our people are having to deal with. Yeah. So, you know, I can talk with the locals about that. When I go to Jackson, Mississippi, I can say that Brett Favre stole money from the needy families. Yeah. Here's a millionaire who stole money from needy mothers who needed that money to feed their children. Yeah. So it's no wonder they don't want to pay reparations. They already steal money that's ticketed to us black people. I can say that to the local press in Jackson. Yeah. And if they put the cameras in front of my face or if there's a newspaper reporter and they're, subs and they're subscribing, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them what the South is. Because people want to try to act like they don't know what the South is. But in 2024, you're going to find out what the South is. You're not going to play ignorant anymore in this country. Yeah. Because people want to act like all of these people that, you know, the police are investigating that mysteriously committed suicide. I'm going to tell them, wait a minute. You remember that kid they found in the gymnasium rode up in a mat with his organs missing? I'm like, how do you commit suicide and cut your organs out and roll yourself up in a mat? Yeah. How do you do that? Yeah. And nobody knew anything. They didn't know how he got there. They didn't know how his organs came missing. They didn't know nothing. And that kind of shit happens all the time. They find people, you know, hanging from bridges all the time in Mississippi with nooses who are black. And they're like, oh, it's suicide. Hanging from trees. I'm like, yeah. Sure. Black people with all the trauma associated with nooses and lynchings would decide to, you know, unalive themselves doing that. Yeah. And I'm going to tell them about Rathbun County Sheriff. I'm like, yeah, sure. The department that investigated that is the department that put a gun down a man's throat and shot him, right? So we really believe that they're really doing fair and judicial investigations down there? Come on. Who believes that? No. They want to play stupid with me, the local press, and I'm going to really roast them. I'm going to take them to the mat. And I want you all to do the same thing to the press, but the local press. The national, we need, you know, we need a prettier face. Except for Roland Martin. If you go on Roland next year, say what you really want to say. There's a couple of national press that you can go on. If you're on, like, David Pacman, Roland Martin, you know, some of those type of people, The Breakfast Club, you can have some frank conversations. I'm talking about if you go on NBC or CBS. I'm not doing NBC and CBS. I can't do that with Christian Walker. Yeah, I can't do that with him. I can't sit there and be like, do you know the Republicans are opposed to this because they say it's about deficit? I'm going to tell Christian, Christian, they've had $32 trillion. They've been had a debt. You know why they have a debt, Christian? No. Why do they have a debt? Because they haven't paid their debt. And they know who the debt is that they owe. Yeah. And they refuse to do it. So 
So that's what we're trying to do out here in the streets is make them pay their debt that they owe. Yeah. So I don't need to tell her that. I'm going to be telling the local press that. We're going to be all over talking about the local press. Yeah. Writing letters to the editor is wonderful. A lot of grannies have already said they're going to write letters to the editor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, writing letters to the editor, telling them why this is important to you. You know, here it is. White conservative Americans are saying inflation is hurting them. Well, Granny said, you know what? Inflation has been hurting black people since the beginning of this country. Yeah, what they've experienced these three years due to COVID, black Americans have experienced for 246 years. Yeah, so we need people to write that and send it to the local press. Just like you're saying it, you need to write it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pay for the postmark. Yeah, we'll pay for the stamp. We'll have plenty of stamp. Yeah, we'll pay. Seriously. But if it's me with the local press, oh boy. It's going to be like dancing. And don't let some of us, you know, some of the older folks go. They don't have no holds barred in what they say. I can only come from my perspective, which is, I know the history of what this country has done. But people that have to experience it, you know, endure that, that's a whole nother cup of tea. Ooh. Local, and I'm not just talking to any type of reporter either. They have to be fair-minded. So if they come there trying to act like we did something because they're from the South, Oh, you're an invader. You came here and you did that. No, it's a free country. I have a right to travel. You can't harass me because I'm not from the state. We're here organizing. We're here trying to help people register them to vote. We're here to work with congressional members, do cleanups, neighborhood cleanups. You can't tell me it's a free country. I can come to Mississippi. I can come to Alabama. And let me tell you something. In them sundown towns, if you do something this year, we're going to be recording it. We're going to be filming you. We're going to be filming you at night. Period. Yeah, you try to run up on us, we're going to be filming you. And then we're going to have those, you know, we're going to have the toys too to defend ourselves. We're going to film it, send it to the media. Here's them coming in their pickup truck with the news in behind their truck. Here they are. Here they come. Here's us shooting at them because we don't want to be lynched. Hey, we beat the case. We're going to be out of court by noon in most of these situations. By noon. By the time lunch is over, we're going to be out of court. Because we got the best lawyer. Yeah, we got the best lawyer. You don't even know who my lawyer is going to be next. I'm telling you. We got the best. Lawyers are going to be with us. They're going to be right next to us. We're going to be consulting with the lawyer. Hey, can we, is this self-defense? Because they just tried to do this. Can we retaliate? What's the maximum we can retaliate to? Yeah. We're going to be consulting with the legal counsel right then and there on the spot. I'm going to have the lawyer's numbers written on my hand in case I get put in. That way when I get my one phone call, I'm calling the lawyer. I'm not saying nothing to the racist police down south. I know they're racist. I'm not saying shit to them. I tell them I want to speak to my lawyer. Yeah. We're documenting how we go in. If we have to be taken in for booking, we're documenting it. Like if there's no physical marks, no scratches on us when we go in, if we come out with marks, we're suing. We're suing. It's going to be a lawsuit. You have your racist Nazi and white police officers rough us up down there. We're suing your whole department. We're taking you to the cleaners, you sons of bitches. Period. You rough us up, we're taking you to the cleaners. We're going to have the lawyers right on deck. Yeah. Right outside the courthouse as they're taking us in. They've been, hey, look. You know what time it is. Don't do any mouthing off you. 
If they get you on some kind of drunked up bullshit charge, hands behind your back, let them handcuff you, tell them to take you to the jail. I want to speak with the lawyers. Remain silent. Get out of that right. Don't say shit to the police. I'm definitely not down south. Don't say shit to those fellow sons of bitches. Yeah, because they're all racist down there. Don't say anything. Remain silent. And we can get the lawyers down there real quick from New York and Chicago. California, Texas, we can get them down there real quick. I'm not saying nothing. I just tell them, I'm not saying anything until my lawyer comes to the jail cell and sees me. Yeah. I didn't see nothing. I didn't say nothing. I didn't do nothing. And unless they saw you do something, you ain't done shit. They gonna cut your ass loose. They got to see you do it. They got to prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Hey, you didn't see me? Sweetheart, I'm walking before lunch. It was self-defense, Your Honor. You know the type of racist that, you know, you used to have in your country that would put people on trees and then burn them and have their children out there watching? It was those type of people that showed up in the Ford F-150s. We had to defend ourselves, Your Honor. Yeah. We took one look at how sick they were, and we had to defend ourselves from them. They had a noose around the back of their pickup truck, so we're familiar with how they drug somebody in Texas, ripped his body apart. We know what they do, Your Honor, so I had to defend myself. Cut me the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm not staying in Rack and County because you know they'll have skinheads up in there. That's why I want the lawyers in the prison. Yeah. We're going to have them in the jail, making sure they don't put you all with them. Period. And if they try to, then we're going to come in the jail with the guns because we know they're illegal. Yeah, we know what they're doing is illegal. We'll walk up into some of these places with weapons. Yeah. Because if they're not exercising the law the way it should be, if they're doing vigilante shit, we're going to do some vigilante shit. It depends on how ugly they want to get in front of you. We know it's going to get ugly. That's why I don't want to talk with the national. I'm not talking with the national. I'm talking local. I'm going local. Only local. For me. You all do what you feel is necessary. Have it concise. Have it precise. Don't give too much details about your comrades. They don't need to know their names. Just say they want to remain anonymous, and you might want to remain anonymous. Don't report any of my information, period. Yeah. That's your right. And then tell what your side of the story is. If you have video footage, always be recording. If you have video footage, then you can let the reporter see that. You can say, the reporter will say, we took a look at some of the video footage. They might use it. They might not use it in the morning. Maybe the event happens in the morning. So they don't use it in the morning. They don't use it in the afternoon. But by the evening, they edit it and spice it up. And then they say, we want you to take a look at some footage from what happened. At nighttime, they'll load our footage. So don't worry if it's not used in the daytime when they first report it or in the afternoon. Nighttime, they'll use the footage. I know my people are not going to be out there attacking people. I know they're going to be trying to provoke us. And you know, it's a tense situation. Don't come around us. You don't agree with us. We don't agree with you. Leave it alone. We're out here to organize our people, not yours. Yeah. But if they try to harass us, we have a right to defend ourselves. The Second Amendment applies to every American. Not just them. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to have to say all this to the local media. I'm going to say it, and all of us are going to say it. We're not going to vote for intimidation, bullying, harassment, and terrorism. That stuff they did, what they did to Anthony Huber in 2020, what Cal Rittenhouse did, no. No. And you saw the third guy, he did have a gun, but, you know, he still got wounded. He, he missed. But we all gonna have some weapons. If, they, if we know they're coming, and just assume they're coming. 
Because if the word black is in there, they're coming. Because they're hateful. Tell me they're not racist. Yes, they are. They've been racist from youngsters. How are they not racist? We had to deal with this. I'm going to tell the local press. I'm going to tell the sweetheart. Did you deal with these type of people in school? Did they bully you? Did you see anybody being bullied who was of color? Did they bully people when they were kids? Didn't they bully people when they were kids in school? Because you know some of these people, right? Some of these people are your relatives, right? Didn't they bully when they were in school? Yes or no? Well, yeah, Doug was a bully. Yeah, Doug was a bully in school. And you know what? He was a racist bully. He always picked on the blacks and the Mexican kids, right? Yeah, because Doug has been a piece of shit his whole goddamn life. Yeah. Okay. Enough said. That's why I'm not going to the national. I'm talking local. Shh. It's going to be fireworks. Man, it's going to be fireworks. When you're done clearing New York, make a lot of noise and put it up in the air. Let us know you won and cleared New York. Once New York is cleared, to move into Texas. Chicago is going to intercept Alabama and Mississippi. Yeah, we know that's where they're coming from. They're coming all over from the entire south. Yeah, we know. We know. Yeah, when we say to the press, it's going to be very important. That's why when I talk to the press, it's going to be It's going to be precise. I'm not going to mince no words. It's going to be precise. They're going to be like, we've never heard anybody. I know. You're never going to see or hear some of the things you're going to hear in 2024. Yeah. It's for all the models. We're done. We're done. I'm done making excuses for them. Because they know what they are. Yeah. And they know what they do. We're done. No, no more excuses. No more excuses. We're done. Somebody said we're done, done. Yeah, we're done, done. Beyond done. Because there's such a thing. But don't. I encourage you all. If you're hot, you're really upset. Somebody was harmed, somebody was seriously hurt. Don't go and talk with the media. Let somebody else talk. Let another representative talk. Go and get somebody. Yeah. It's time for victory. We talk about winning to the press. We don't talk about losing. Even if we have some bad events, bad circumstances happen, some of our people get arrested unalive. We don't talk about losing. We talk about our victories. You know, because we're going to have wins and we're going to have losses. We're going to have ups and we're going to have downs. Yeah. We're going to have victories and we're going to have defeats. We talk about our victories. They want to get us to start talking about our losses. Well, what happened today? Three people were lost. Don't you think it's time for you guys to go back home? You know, you're not from here. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's not time for us to go back home. This is exactly why we need to be here. Because this kind of thing has been happening for 250-something years in this country. That's why we need to be here. So, no, ma'am. We're not going anywhere. I might be way over there and I hear her say, Hey, don't you all, with all of this happening now, don't you feel like, no, I'm going to scream it from the top of my lungs. Hell, fuck, no, we're not going shit, nowhere. Fuck out of here, you think we're going. We are not going to be intimidated by other fucking scum-ass Americans. I'll say it straight to her face. And tell her, quote me, put it in the quote, put it on the news, what I said. Yeah, we're not going, no way. There's not going to be no complacency and no apathy now. Yeah, and we're not going to be intimidated, harassed, bullied, and terrorized by them. Yeah. yeah, so they tell us, oh, we need to go back home. We need to go, go back to where we're from. Tell them you go back to where you're from. Where are you from? Because they got a lot of nerve talk. I'm going to tell them this down south, too, about this immigration. Tell them, 
where are you originally from? Because you're probably a third, fourth, or fifth generation American. But where are you originally from? Now, why don't you go back to where you're from? Why don't you tell your, son, your family to go back to where you're from? Oh, you're Polish American? Why don't you go back to Poland? Yeah, I tell you, because I tell her, I'll tell the reporter this. It sounds just as insulting if I told you to go back to your native land as if you told somebody else to go back to their native land. Because we're all immigrants here. Tell her straight to her face. In case you didn't know, the Aboriginal people, they were mostly genocided or died off of natural or bacterial causes. They've gone. Everybody here is an immigrant. Doesn't matter how long ago you immigrated, you're an immigrant. So all this hogwash about wanting to blame immigrants, that's because you all are racist. Period. Yeah. You got a problem with people, your neighbors from the South. They're melanated. Tell them you've had a problem in the South with melanated people for centuries. Yeah, they'll have to get the hell up away from me. They don't want to interview me in the local press down south. Well, I'm not going to mince no more words with him. Yeah. We talk to the press, you know. I want to talk to the press like I talk to you. Yeah, I'm real with you all. I talk to the press like I'm real. I'm not doing no... I'm not worried about the presidential campaign. Biden and Harris are going to have to wage that war. I'm going to be part of that, but this is going to be a big operation. I'm going to be mostly affiliated with this. Yeah, this is going to be for all the marbles. Don't let nobody fool you. Yeah, everybody coming. I have been talking with folks. Everybody is coming. Everybody. Yeah, a lot of people have been wanting to come down south for a long period of time to see what's been happening. See, when you're in the Midwest, a lot of people were cut off from the south. So a lot of the people don't know what people have been going through down south for a long period of time. So when they come down there, they're going to have to share stories about what's been going on, what's been happening. People are going to be upset that certain folks have been putting up with that kind of shit. Just been putting up with it. Yeah, people are going to be really upset. Yeah. So when they say you're from, you're, out, you're outsiders, you're outside agitators. You know, this is what they said in the 60s too, during the Civil Rights Movement. They said King was an outside agitator. He would come to different places. That he wasn't from those places originally. He would come there. But the reason... King had to come to those places is because there was racial tension. There was racial terrorizing. Yeah. King didn't just show up at random places. He showed up because he was invited and asked to be there because they were going through something. Yeah. So this whole notion that I'm going to tell him straight up, this is a free country. We can all travel. And if you try to impede my right to travel, I think that's unconstitutional, right? Because I have a right to travel. Yeah. You try to impede it, it's going to be on it. It's going to be up and on. Yeah. You know what they're going to try to do. 